guys, and welcome again to another Echocalypse video! Hey guys, so massive changes that will be coming to the game and from the devs. Thank you devs for considering this and they worked with us and thank you for the community manager from the Discord and uh, for uh, being the bridge between us, between me specifically and the devs so we can go and discuss some stuff and they will take the notes. So if you don't know the context of this, uh, a few months ago, I made a video about uh, that game or the game was already dying or something like that And the devs didn't like it and they said that I was a little bit harsh And I told them I was just voicing the concerns of the community as global Because as you know, global is different than JP, CN and the SEA They have different cultures, we have different cultures uh, NA have different cultures than EU In NA, they pay money, they don't care if the game is not doing well They stop playing and they move on with their life in EU, we don't pay money. We just pay money if we want to continue playing the game. And if it's not giving us the, the, uh, the, the price or giving us the amount of what we pay, like this one, that's the biggest turn off of the game that they didn't address yet. You have 40% to get the character and 60% not to get the character. That's not a 50-50, that's a 40-60, which is I've, I've never seen in other games. We have a 3% chance to get that. Understandable. The pity is the 50, wonderful. But I got Yora. How did I get Yora? I got shafted four times. What is this? Who created the zero out of four? Who created? Who told you that this is a good idea? It may mainly in games 50-50. You lose it, you get the character, or you have a 75% to get the character again. So do it at two out of two or one out of one. This zero out, of, this four out of four to get the character guaranteed is absolutely bad. This is the worst thing. So if I'm a spender, especially the EU customers that you like them so much, they will not pay for this. They will read, Z what? I need to get it for time. I'm not playing the game. That's it, uninstalled. That's it, your game is dead, completely dead. I had a guild, I had a Discord server that had over 2000 players active every day for this play. Do you know how many players we have now? 14 players. 14 players still playing this game on that Discord. 14 freaking players only. If this is not a big red flag, I don't know what's a red flag. So we talked with the devs, we told them our concerns. They responded and they said, please make uh, a list about the changes that you'd like for the game. They tried Q&A, they gave us Q&A if you go and complete it. I don't know where was it. Not the questions that we wanted to, to answer actually. We didn't care about that, we cared about something else. So we sent them our list and I made a video about it. I'll link it also in the description. And here we go. We got our response in the Discord. I'll keep the link of the Discord in the, in the description. Let's hear what they wanted or what they want to say. So, hi Awakeners, and thank you for supporting Echo Calypso and Scouting for uh, such a long time. Today we bring you the developer Q&A. Uh, actually, it's the community Q&A. Thank you, Pika if they want to say that about the concerns uh, of these days blah 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 okay so the questions it's the first question that i had on the list characters are being released too often this is uh, a collecting game people would want at least one guaranteed copies of each new banner which is absolutely normal to ask to actually because of the four out of four if they don't have four out of four they will have no problems with the banners actually even if you release every day a new character we will appropriately control the release of new characters and continue to add in-game in gifts and free outfits. Check in, the new check-in at 24, which they, they released uh, to meet everyone's collection, which is really good. The Stormy uh, Season or the Stormy Sea gift, which is this one. This is really good. And we get Niz outfit of the summer, which is really good. Actually, they started, so they will be continuing to do the list. If they started with the first one that they talked about, it means they will continue. So the next question, some game modes are very time consuming, just like Neverless Nightmare and uh, required teams, one stage clicking, blah, 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 very time consuming. Okay, so in future updates, we will add convenience functions in dormitories, especially dormitories, uh, and the skip functions for Nebulous Nightmare to simplify player operation. I hope in Nebulous Nightmare, it's one of the modes that I love and I like so much, but yeah, it consumes a lot of time, especially when you get to three teams. So next question, Random characters after being updated gets bugged, especially like Wajet. Her minion spa uh, or the mummy start keeps attacking us, not their own lineup, and they don't use the sand burial, which is the ultimate, which is really bad because they come up of the mummify with full uh, energy or full rage, and they just absolutely nuke you. So 
We will continue to follow up the bug fix issues, further improve the quality of the version and reduce bugs after version updates. Okay, great. Next question. Resources in the exchange shop are not good and since the Aiken event, no more furniture. Actually, this is true. So in future events, we will release new furniture in the event store and other new redeemable props will be also added. Redeemable props. Not redeemable by money, you mean, right? Right? Okay, so if you don't know what event, the events, how it was it. So let's go to the shop here. There was another tab here that an Aiken event and the New Year event. Aiken event was horrible as for the furniture. Everybody nagged about it because you can buy 70% of the furniture, five additional furniture, and you need to buy them with real money to continue and get the bonuses, which everybody hated. In the New Year event, they added it the whole furniture in the shop and we bought every single furniture absolutely fantastic everybody were happy with that everybody were happy with that so and uh yeah the prices are horrible as well as well hopefully they fix that so next question the event exchange shop prices are pretty high we we're talking about it in consideration of the amount of seminar you need to get the currency in return and the math is illogical comparison to the first ever event which is for aiken we had a lot of more resources to buy from the shop and the event we bought every single furniture and we bought a lot of resources actually the seminar drop was uh good as well so the answer the new props in the theme event store are intended to give players different stages different choices i call this bananas this is this is bullshit come on players can purchase the props they need according to their needs no no they're not they're not supposed to they're not supposed to it's supposed to be if you spend your stamina you guaranteed yourself to get the points just like in any decent game like afk arena or whatever so let's let's check it out let's check it out let's go to the squad let's go to fenriru my boost i have here two i need to do more so I'll do three more. Okay, that's 75. That's 75. So Fenriru, boost, augment, and let's go and farm that. Okay, so 19 runs. Great, 19 runs. How much from 19 I can I get resources from the event? Here we go. First one we got. Okay. That probability. I hate that it's probability. Okay, let's go and check. One, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten ten from 19 it means 50 50. if it's 20 that's 10 from 20. that's 50 50 to get the so i need to spend how much stamina to get how much currencies how, how much to 10 what what does 10 buy you let's say you did only 20 and you got 10 okay how much 10 buys me Let, let's go and check i bet it will buy me something really good they, they already said that it's okay anything with 10 uh, any any anything nothing i can buy tribute coins with 10 you can buy tribute coins with 10 and you get how much 100 tribute coins do you know how much tribute coins is it's amazing it's the most bullshit currency in the game right now okay devs this is this one i disagree with them but hopefully they're gonna change it or address it later Let's hop into the next one. Very minimal, close to none, homepage decoration option. We will continue to put the main uh, interface, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's good, that's good. Because if we go and go to the main interface, if you're gonna go and check backgrounds, we don't have a lot, okay? They look nice, but we need better, okay? I used to play other games. It has, many games has different. This is why I use Fenriru, because she takes the whole screen and it will allow me not to play at this background, actually, to, not match the theme that i'm playing so aesthetics yeah we like that don't make them just for money just give them something for free something for money we don't care just a simple change will be very nice more strategy based game modes right now the game is lacking in terms of strategy modes most of the modes right now are very battle rating br based this is my typing <laughs> i type this one so if someone paid to have 50 million power, uh, they will top every mod while this, you see how much all this conversation was when 50 million was a lot huge, 50 million was a lot, now it's nothing. Free and low uh, spending players will be stuck behind in every single game mode and it's very little resources that is extremely discouraging and the main reason for losing low spenders. 
exactly this is true this is happening actually people a lot of people left the game because of that so we will add strategic gameplay to ensure high quality experience for players at low level at all levels the new gameplay event will be coming soon there's a new event that they will create something like uh Shattered Cosmos, Nebulous Nightmares, stuff like that. That will be strategic and nice. Don't add any more power-up option. Now this one, uh, th this this is actually from the top players. If you don't know who's the top players in EU, this one especially came from Oene and Rog. Special shout out to them. These are massive players, great players. Let's go to Shiny Ceremony. They are the top players, as you see here. If you're gonna check their power, 110 million and the other 126 i think yeah 126 million absolute monsters and big spenders and this is the reason why the devs are moving oeni wanted to drop the game and rogue as well by the way they were telling me that if there's no oeni rogue will play with no one if there's no rogue oeni will play with no one they're playing together and they're a big decline in the player base and they just feeling frustrated from the game and the game modes and in, in its entirety so changes must be have be uh, taken because we we already let's let let me show you let me show you the friend list so we lost raiden a long time ago 34 days 24 days leffy leffy 52 million 19 million 19 million was a lot to went 30 a month ago screeling the last one that which breaks my heart eldrick even stopped oh my god nine days ago andy stopped eight days ago oh my god we just played together andy oh my goodness these are, are the, these stopped and in my guild if we're gonna go my syndicate was active we had like 40 active players now we barely see people online look 49 days ah oh, shinobi damn it rain was he, he dropped 45 days ago but 13 million was one of the top players back at the time bad ai nemesis one of the players that came into the game dropped his entire wallet and heritage in the game and then the devs just like didn't respond to us and he's like no not responding i'm leaving and he left understandable understandable look look at the, all of these plays these not are like plays that didn't buy anything even the low ones with the low levels they bought stuff they they did stuff they bought and and they they, they spent like like the, who who spent money eldrick yeah i think he spent yeah he spent money like you don't care about these players they they spent money on your game and they drop the game that's that's pretty bad that's pretty bad i feel that's really bad so their response we will control the release speed of the new development functions to give players a better experience what the development function they mean like these the new combat gears and stuff like that like resonance elemental vibration arm and they will they will not say they will stop they will add them but in a different way I hope it doesn't fit the whole screen in the end, be 20 things, but I hope that it will make sense and you can farm it throughout your brain, not your wallet. We can go and farm it. Actually, a mod that you can go and farm it daily. Like, you you know these games that have dungeons that you can farm gold, you can farm diamonds, you can farm power-ups and gears. I hope they add one here in the, where is it? In the harvest. A function here for you to farm shards for characters not only but i know i know there's shards for characters which are the sr which is in regression which is the worst one where's the ssrs you can't farm them how can you farm them you can buy them from the procurement in the refresh one you can refresh and buy them and you can only obtain this currency by summoning so this is kind of like good and bad it has but I, I don't disagree with it i just want another option for us to get more stuff specifically for things like this why is it not in events why is it hard to find why you don't give us more free things of this or more ways to farm this give me a daily farming five of this every day i'd be happy farming this five every day uh, the other ones which are the, the the sr version of of these ssr versions of these i can farm five every day that would be awesome actually yeah i hope that this uh will happen I'm happy that they are starting. They started responding. It doesn't mean that they will not. I'm so positive about this. I hope that they will continue. 
the game is not completely dead the devs are responsive and they care about their game it's like their baby they want us to be happy about what they did and they started they showed us that they started doing this i hope we get less of this bullshit that we see here and 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 here which is completely pay to win and you can never rank up and get the desired things that you want if you're not paying money i hope that they make things if you pay money you get more but not more like the rewards here if you're free to play the rewards here are trash compared to what you can get when you pay when you pay and get it to 50 times so you need to finish this 15 times you're gonna get two boxes of two of, of gears or vibration arms come on nobody will reach 15 as free to play that's impossible unless they saved from the start of the game when it was released until now all the diamonds so they can go and spend them and still i i bet they can't reach the 15 i don't know the math about it anyway i hope uh this enlightened you for that i just want to showcase this and show you that the devs are listening the devs are started to move if you think that uh, you wanted like ah you're already done with the game hey just give it another chance maybe a month and let's check one thing what uh, what will happen and yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace